Hey YouTube, what's up? If you hear squeaking and wailing in the background, that is because I live really, really high up, and uh, when it gets really windy, like it is today, uh, the door on the balcony makes like a <laughs> sound. So I'm really sorry for that. Uh, but moving right into content, today is Tuesday, so I'm going to be playing some Magic the Gathering. Uh, but before I get into that, I just would like to take a quick second uh, to announce that currently I am taking a little bit of a break from Pokemon Go videos. I will still be playing, of course. Um, maybe not as much. Anyways, the, the, the game is, to me, it's getting a little, I'm a little bored, is all. Um, this happens when I play games a lot. I get a little bit bored from time to time. So currently I'm just a little bit eh on Pokemon Go. Um, and in addition to that, the videos, uh, they take a bit more time to put together. Um, because I got to record it on my phone, then I got to move it to my, whatever. It's a whole, it's much more of a process because magic I'm playing anyway. I just turn on record and start talking. Uh, so it's a little less to do and life is very busy. So, uh, they will be back eventually. If I get a good idea in the meantime, I'll post it. But for now, uh, just look forward to some magic, the gathering content because, um, I'm really going hard on that arena. Um, and I'm just, I'm having more fun with it in general. So today we're going into play some more Brawl, but I have built a new deck. I put it together this morning um, while I was very tired. And usually when I'm tired, I perform really well with Magic the Gathering. So I'm hoping the game, uh, the deck works well. It is Thassa Deep Dwelling. You play with creatures that generate value when they enter the battlefield. Then you use Thassa to flicker them, uh, which is to exile and return them immediately. Uh, so when they come back, you get to use that value ability again. The deck is hard control for the most part. Uh, a lot of counter spells, a lot of draw spells. Um, and then it's got those value creatures to attack with and to generate value with Thassa. And now I'm repeating myself. So let's get into games. I'm not going to go over the deck because that is the deck. So uh, let's get rolling. Hey there, it's Grixen. Doing all kinds of things. Hey there, it's Grix at school, playing all kinds of games. Pokemon and Magic the Gathering, come on down for all kinds of wild things. Hey yo, so we're going to get right into it. Uh, like I said, I'm not going to go over the deck list, because uh, it's pretty self-explanatory, really. It's counter spells, value creatures, um, and some draw spells. That is the deck. And... Um, you know, I was I was doing really well with it this morning. I was just like banging out those games, and then it was time to record. And now all of my games are going super poorly. And once again, I have forgotten to take Command Tower out of the deck. So we're a good Golos tireless character. Uh, two lands and some action. Let's keep it because Omen of the Sea will surely find us uh, that third land. And our entire hand costs three, so that's okay. And we are against Golos. Uh, we see him a lot, don't we? Once upon a time, they cast it for free because it's the first spell they cast of the game. Oh, spicy. We've drawn Thassa's Oracle, uh, but we don't have that second blue source, let alone a third land. This is sketch. This is what I was saying, dude. My dudes, friends, watchers, viewers, humans, is this morning when I was testing the deck to see if it was worth putting on YouTube, it was doing super, super well. And now I'm bringing the deck to YouTube and it's doing super, super poops. Uh, but that's okay. We have found the lands so we can play Cloudkin Seer, and this is the start of the engine, really. But they went untapped Shockland. They're going for Beanstalk Giant. That's a good one. That's a nice one. Uh, so Island. And then we definitely play the Thassa here. I don't think there's anything... But I've said this before. I was like, it's okay. I don't need the mana necessarily to counter spells. Um... But next turn, now that we have an engine going, floop, 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 and uh, we have like a decent amount of lands, next turn we can start leaving mana up as a counterspell option, which is sweet. Golos, Tireless Pilgrim. How long do they have to cast? Oh, they have to pay mana to do that. Okay. And they definitely found Field of the Dead, because what else do you find when you're playing Golos? So we're at five lands. That's nice. 
Uh, we'll go for the Thassa's Oracle. I think that just makes sense. Oh, there's Cavalier Gales. Nice. We'll keep that up top. And then let's go in for Oodles. I attack you for Oodles. Do you choose to block? No. Oh, and now we blink the Cloudkin Seer, and we just draw that Cavalier that we left up top. Bloop. Prison Realm! That is okay, because we have the counter spells. The spells that counter other spells. Plusion Realm is a spell, therefore it can be countered, for those of you that don't. That needed it all spelled out, which is probably no one. Because um, if you needed it spelled out, you're probably not watching. Oh, baby, Vanishing Light. They got me with a second one. Well, let's just put Thassa right into the command zone, because they know what's up. And now we take five. No bliggity blocks. But, I mean, the Thassa comes Baka. I'm a nut. Just ridiculous. Get in there for two. Bleep. Now, this is a predicament. I, I kind of want to blink the uh, Oracle over the draw because I would like to dig deep. I don't think I need to dig deep. Yeah, let's just keep filling our hand. Bleep, blop. Yeah, there we go. That's better. Tamio, Collector of Tales. Uh, that's kind of poops. They can get back uh, Return Target Card. What did they get back? Prison Realm. There it is. Prison Realm. Thassa. They are going all out to remove Thassa. Put it in the command zone. In with Golos. There will be no blocks. I can take Lightning Bolts for a little while. Um, let's play the Field of Ruin, and let's just uh, destroy Field of the Dead. Sorry, champ. Not having it. Not today, Satan. And then we'll find an island. And so we've got a nice little hand here because we have Thought Collapse. And we have Negate, so we can definitely keep both those up. Uh, let's just kill the Tamio now. I don't want to deal with her anymore. Golos is so good, and I, I wanted to put a Golos deck together, uh, but there's some key cards that I'm missing, and I'm just way too lazy to figure out the mana base. So they've got Gilded Goose, Plaza of Harmony, and Growth Spiral. I'm going to let them have all these things. I don't mind. That's okay. It's when they start Golos flipping like Planeswalkers and stuff. That's when you get concerned. Now this bugaboo is unfortunate, but I, I really do want to keep those counter spells up. Although at this point, Thassa is so expensive to replay, but she's kind of the deck, so... Block one of the zombies with a 1 3. Hey, Frogify, that's cool. So we're just going to Frogify the Golos. Then we don't have to worry so much about that nasty ability of his. And then we can play Cephalie. And we can play in our sets. I'm feeling pretty... Now that Golos is turned off, I'm feeling pretty confident about not needing counterspells so, so much. He says as he takes a third counterspell into hand. Um, and we're just going to put that... Keep putting that two pressure damage... Two damage pressure on. I know they can start making food and stuff, but uh, I see no harm in continuing to put on the two damage pressure right now. Teferi... Well, good thing I didn't keep that Ley Line of Anticipation, because that would be a waste of a turn if I played that. 
and Fasa. They're on Fasa. Now they can blink Golos and I lose my enchantment. What poops is this? And then they bounce the Prison Realm, so I get Thassa back. Uh, and I didn't leave Counterspell Mana up. Urkadur. <sighs> Command Zone. I'm really playing this poorly, aren't I? Because I could have countered that if I didn't play the Narset. No, I couldn't have, because to fairy. so I'm still good. Wow, I'm just like really out of it today, playing very poorly. So they're going to flicker that Golos, that makes sense. They get to find another land. Land enters the battlefield, they make another token. They do have a flyer in the, the form of Gilded Goose. Uh, so what I would like to do here is play this Uganza. And we are going to the Teferi. Because I would like my Counterspell mana because it would have proven useful earlier. And let's activate Narset. Nice, Nyx Lotus. That's obviously a next turn investment. And now we resume attacking for two. No, we save blockers. Oh, I could have played Lotus, but then I wouldn't have my negate mana, and I really need that negate mana right now. Oh, they only have four cards in hand. They're going to flip Golos. Let's see. Useless, useless, useless. Return target creature card from your graveyard to your hand. Return target planeswalker card from your graveyard to your hand. Aid the Fallen's pretty good. Disdainful Stroke isn't going to do much for me just now. Aid the Fallen. Uh, negate the Fallen? Because it's choose one or both, isn't it? Yeah, that's terrifying. No. No, thank you, friend. Another zombie token. Oh, Leafkin Druid. Oh, no, not another zombie token. I forgot. I killed the stupid... Whew, get with it, Grixis. I just know nothing about this game. And there's no attacks. Golos, find a new land. Scry one. Top or bottom? Let's see it. Top or bottom? One on the bottom. Okay. So we have oodles of counters. Let's make a Ugin token. And then I think we just absolutely play the Nyx Lotus because next turn that's going to tap for eight blue. That tapping for eight blue, that's the Thassa right there. <laughs> Uh, there will be no attacks. So I do have a lot of counter magic in hand. Just a lot of it. Almost my entire hand except for Cavalier of Gales is counter magic. So that's pretty good. Uh, they have five cards in hand. They can obviously activate Golos for a large portion of their mana. Yeah, that's okay. They're going to search for some lands to get more lands. Resolve the Golos, and they find land, land, Paradise Druid. You can have a Paradise Druid. This is okay. Mm -hmm. 
What do they flicker? Golos again? Or the Risen Reef? A lot of tempting targets. There's two. There's two tempting targets. Um, on the end of their turn, I think we intervention X being four. Look at the top X cards, choose two from among them, put them into your hand. So we will take... Uh, Kazmina and Labyrinth. Play an island, blue is most important. Ugin, the plus, make a token. Now I think we just tap this for eight and play a Thassa. And now our deck has 30 cards, still not quite enough to get the Thassa win. We can try for the Thassa Oracle win. Um, we will definitely be attacking with the Gilded Goose now that it's on that sort of like vigilance path. Not the Gilded Goose. We will attack the, with the Cloudkin Seer and hope they block with the Gilded Goose. No, they're just going to start sacking treasures. Not treasures, foods. Oh, I'm out of it today. End the turn. And we will flicker the Cloudkin Seer to draw a card. Agent of Treachery. <laughs> That's a good spicy one, isn't it? Yeah, Evolving Wilds. Go ahead. Go nuts. Yeah, so we have a lot of counter spells right now, and we, we have eight mana, so we can cast two of them, so two of their spells this turn can be countered. Let's see what they do. They have 16 cards in their library. They're getting closer to Thassa's Oracle than I am. Oh, this is a Kraken. I thought it was another Counterspell. Okay, I have two Counterspells. You'll have to forgive me. The light on my... T like, my TV is so dark with the windows behind it that I have a hard time seeing. So I really should be watching this, this, the recording I'm doing rather than watching the TV, which is what I'm doing now, if you can't tell there. Okay, so Arcane Signet, Cavalier of Thorns, and Tail's End. Good thing I got my Thassa in. You can have a Signet. That's cool. Cavalier of Thorns. This becomes a problem. Let's go for the Thought Collapse. Um, because I would like to... Maybe I can just mill them out through the game lasting a while and them doing Golos things. Oh, they milled an Uro. That's spooky business. But I'm hoping to go Agent... You concede now. That's really the plan. Uro from the graveyard. This is fine with me. They have 10 cards left in their library. Yeah, they can have a 1818 Beanstalk Giant. That is cool. What are these arrows? Do they have so many lands? They have so many lands, there's arrows to scroll through their mana base. That's just absurd. Oh, I should have tapped something with Thassa. Moving to end step. Thassa flickers Golos. So 
search for a land, put it into play. Intensifying their scroll bar. A life land. Okay, our turn. Um, maybe we sack Omen of the Sea and Scry. Oh, Tails End. I mean, you might as well, right? So we tap that for blue, and then we go Agent of Treachery. And then we take the 2020 Beanstalk Giant. And that's the scoop. We got it. All right. Let's uh, go on to the next game. Uh, that was a long game, and I thank you so much for, for sitting through it. This is against uh, Black Green, so Golgari. Uh, their commander is Garuk, Garuk, a negate, and a six cost and a seven cost. That's a mulligan. Ugh, at least there's a ley line. Keep it. Ugh, keep it for the ley line. Ugh, draw land, please. Ugh. We drew a land. We got there. Ooh, season of growth. Nice. Nice. This is not. This is not terrible. We have two early counter spells, um, and then we do have the altar of the pantheon. Now this is tempting to counter just so they don't have a beanstalk giant later, but we're going to resolve it. I'm going to try to be a little more picky-choosy with my counter spells. And on the end of their turn, we bring in Altar of the Pantheon. So now my devotion to blue is three, and Thassa is a spicier character. Spicier. They're on five lands. They can bring down something pretty spooky now. And it is Evolution Sage. Enters the battle whenever a land enters the battlefield, proliferate. This has been giving me oodles of trouble. So what we're going to do is Thought Collapse that. No land. Unfortunate. But at the very least, we're going to play Thassa on the end of their turn. But I suspect they'll go for Garrick. No, Garrick. Let's do this for three. And hope we draw something good. Island negate. And we play the island. So now we have negate mana and Thassa mana. Uh, we also got the Thassa's Oracle, which is pretty cool. Oh, this is unfortunate. It looks like they're kind of uh, lacking in the land department. So we'll play Thassa's Deep Dwelling, and then we will also play Thassa's Oracle. Or are they going to try to do something to Thassa? No, okay, so we will play the Thassa's Oracle, gain a life, because we have a god now. Now, I know this isn't the best Thassa's Oracle in the world, but in doing this, we activate the Devotion, so I can start attacking for six, but they've, they've killed the Oracle anyway. So I get to put one of these cards on top of my library. Let's make it Thirst for Meaning. And that's, uh, that's just the end of our turn. They're smart, though. They knew the Oracle had to go. Um, even though I don't really abuse the the win-the-game portion of it, uh, it's still, it's definitely a gotta-go kind of card. So we will, uh, let's convolute this.
And then on the end of their turn, we're going to thirst. Because we thirsty. Oh, that's a nice one. We're going to decline, and we're actually going to discard two cards for the sake of declining. Oh, there's the scoop. Okay, well, uh, that was four minutes. We can do one more. All right, one more. Hopefully it is not a 15-minute game, because that would mean you've been here for quite some time. <laughs> How's that for fun? Um, and then after this, I am going to eat lunch. Ooh, lunch. What have we got here? This looks like mono green. So we're having mono green versus um, mono blue. Yeah, this to me is a keeperoo. And you see that command tower? That's something I could have taken. A, I've had so many opportunities where I see it. And I'm like, oh, command tower. Wait. Um, and I just haven't taken it out. It's embarrassing. Uh, they get to go first. Fun for them. Land Gilded Goose. All right, we lose. Optimism. Island go. They lose. Just waiting. There it is, Yorvo. <clears throat> so little poops. I don't think we're uh, going to do too well here. Ugh. Oh, this is so bad. No part of this is good. Ugh, that's a fifth of my life total. It's okay because we have Omen of the Sea. Frogify, perfect. Maybe they'll be like, Command Tower, why are you terrible at this? And then they'll be like, wow, this person's clearly awful at this. We're going to win for sure. I mean, they probably are going to win. Oh, these are plus one, plus one counters, so it can't get bigger. But it is still a 6-6 six, six frog because they're plus one, plus one counters. So um, I have Command Tower to Mono Blue deck. I have Frogified something with plus one, plus one counters. Um, and it's quite clear that I'm bad at this. So this is not a good impression that I'm leaving on anyone. But uh, I just want you to see that sometimes um, players make mistakes. And that's okay. And it is because of these mistakes that I am going to lose this game. And this is uh, very, very stupid of me. Oh. oh, excuse me. Let's let them get that killing blow in. Or not. Let's just scoop. We have lost this game. Uh, so... Unfortunately, Thassa couldn't quite hold up against this really fast mono green deck. Um, like I said, I did build the deck this morning, so I'm pretty happy with how it's going for a deck. I just like, these go together. That works. Um, but after this game, yeah, I'm going to eat some lunch, and I'm going to go back to playing uh, different colors. Um, and next Brawl video will hopefully be green-black. Uh, hopefully by then I'll have played with it enough to really like bang up the kinks. Um... And I will see you in the next video, which uh, should be the following Tuesday, uh, because I'm just going to try to, I'm going to just, really just going to do the one magic video a week, unless I decide to do like an impromptu upload situation, but it'll likely just be the one magic video a week for the next little while. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for playing with me and uh, everyone have a great day. Au revoir.